All right, guys. I'll do all the par five. Just to be really clear about this. What you're doing is you're matching up the. Uh, you ignore the angles for a minute. So what I see is tan plus tan. One minus tan times tan. And I'm trying to match that up to one of the formulas. Which formula could I match that up to really quickly? Yeah, I'm matching up to this formula here. But instead of A, it has. And instead of B, it has. Because you can see that that's the way it looks. So, what's tan 2A plus A? Tan 3A. Now we're going to do part B. That's where you guys. Now part B is the following. Uh, it's the same deal again. It's sine cos, cos sine, and there's a plus in the middle. So what, what form do you think I should use? That one there, isn't it? Instead of A, what do you have? Yeah, it's 2 theta, and the second one is? So what does that mean? Sine 2 theta plus theta? Yeah, it's, it's basically a visual exercise, isn't it? There's not much to it, other than uh, seeing, seeing the pattern, really, of, of sine and cos. All right, let's uh, move on to part six. And once again, you're going to take these formulas out. In some cases, some, I'm going to put some of them up around the classroom as well, just so you can see stuff easier. But uh, I reckon that's sine A minus B to you. And what's the formula for sine A minus B? Oh, it's above the board, isn't it? Uh, sine A cos B, yeah? And what else? Happy days. Now, instead of A, what am I using? And instead of B, I'm using? A. Sine 90 <coughs> cos B. Just give me a sec. <coughs> it's minus, isn't it? So sine 90 cos B. Oh, that's the one. Now, now I was wondering. Cos B gets replaced with? A. And then that's cos 90. Sine A. Sine A. Yeah. And what do you get here, guys? What's sine 90? And what's cos 90? Zero. So then you're just left with cos there and you're done. Does anybody want six part two done? S same deal, isn't it? You're just going to match up to cos A plus B. And you're going to say that's 90 and that's A. You're going to get 90, A, 90, A. We all know cos 90 is? Zero. And sine 90? And then you're going to get minus sine A, aren't you? That's it. It's very, very, it's not too bad. All right. These aren't taking much time, thank God. All right, let's keep going. Seven. So, uh, what form do you think I'm going to use? I'm going to use tan A minus B, am I? And what we're going to replace that with? Two equals tan A minus a quarter all over one plus times a quarter is that right you guys uh, what do I multiply up everything in the green box goes up and multiplies by two is that right now see that see that quarter tan a that's the same thing as just saying tan a over the whole thing over four is that right with you guys so what's two multiplied by one plus tan a over four what do we get two yeah and does everybody agree that that equals tan a minus a quarter let's bring all the tan a's to one side uh what's two plus a quarter and then tan a minus a half of tan a so what's two plus a quarter, lads? Nine quarters or two and one quarter. And what's tan A take away a half of tan A? Yeah, or what's X take away a half X? 
It's just a half X, isn't it? So it's a half tan A. And what can I do with that too? It's multiplication, division on the right, which means 2 times 9 over 4. 1 over 2. And there's your value of tan A. Anybody get that? Just Joe. Best student in the class. Yeah. So all my hopes are lying, lads. Not with charity. <laughs> Alright, guys. <coughs> Alright. Alright, guys, how about this one here? Uh, what form are we going to use? Yeah, it's here, isn't it? Uh, I think it's the same one, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, for God's sake. It's not that. I don't know why the circle's still there, but look, we'll deal with it. Alright. Now that's... Shh. That's it, tan A plus B. So we're going to replace tan A plus B with 1. Tan A is going to be replaced with a third. And tan B, we don't know what it is. Then we're going to get 1 minus a third... Tan B. We all kill with that? What's a third tan B the same as? Tan B over 3. <coughs> okay, cross multiply and what happens? 1 times, what's 1 multiplied by all that there? I'm saying you multiply it by 1. Yeah. And that equals what? 1 third plus. Okay, uh, you can give them all a you can give them all a common denominator if you want. Could do it that way if you really wanted. That's three over three, and that's three tan b over three as well. So I'm still the fractions. That's I'm still the fractions. They're gone, aren't they? You guys look confused. Now bring over to one, and what do we get? Three take away one. Three tan b plus tan b. Did I get tan b equals a half? Joe did. Did you, Joe? Yeah. See? Be like Joe, that's. Alright. We all good for nine then? Alright, lads, question ten. If sine x equals a half. And zero is less than x is less than 90 degrees, but they want it in terms of pi, don't they? Do you know what, lads, though? You'd be forgiven for just doing that, wouldn't you? Does it say the answers have to be in radians? So you can change radians into degrees, no bother, we just use degrees. Happy days. So what does it want from you here, then? Which one should I use? Any choice? Why am I choosing that one? Why that one? Sine x plus 45, isn't it? So what does that mean? x, 45, and... x, and... 45. Is that okay with you guys? Everybody happy with me just drawn over? Okay, what do we do next? What's sine x? What's cos 45? 1 over. Cos x. Ah. That's the problem, isn't it? You don't know what cos x is. Or do you? Look at this. Sine is the opposite, isn't it? Up to over hypotenuse. So, Katoa. See, he knows his stuff. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which is 2 over 1. We could use Pythagoras' theorem to find out the adjacent, couldn't we? So, what's the adjacent? 2 squared equals 1 squared plus a squared. 4 equals 1 plus a squared. a squared equals 3. a equals. Root 3, is that cool with you guys? 
What's cos then? What's cos x? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Exactly. And sine 45? Alright. What you get now, lads? One plus root three all over two root two. <coughs> so how high ashes go up last night? 